Up next on Good Taste, grab your chopsticks. It's Peruvian and like an East Asian fusion. For a lip-smacking trip to one of San Antonio's hottest new eateries at the iconic Pearl. Then to Houston for homemade biscuits and comfort favorites, where patience is more than a virtue. And once you come in here, you really feel good. You want to come back again. And the famous bakery that makes I-35 one sweet drive. Oh, you got to get the blueberry cream. Come on. Good taste, sweet foodie escape starts right now. Hi everyone, welcome to Good Taste and welcome to the fantastic, the phenomenal Pearl. I'm Tangie Patton. This truly is the place to come in the Alamo City where you want to try some of the city's best food. Kind of like taking your taste buds on a tour around the world. First stop, Botica. Botica is all the buzz. One of the coolest new concepts to come to San Antonio. I love it. I love the, the food and the idea and the concept. Botica is right in the center of the city's mecca for foodies, the historic Pearl. I like the ambience. It's bright. It's airy. This place is an eye-popping space exploding with color and excitement. So what we designed it to be was a stage. We wanted uh, the people to be part of the action of what's going on. Talk about a party for your eyes. On one side, Botica pops with bold Asian art, juxtaposed with calming coastal scenes, even Latin influences, all hinting at what's on the menu. It's Peruvian and like an East Asian fusion. It's very interesting how they do have things like empanadas on the menu and yucca fries on the menu, but also have sushi and egg rolls. On that menu, a vibrant chorus combining chifa, the confluence of Chinese and Latin flavors, and Nikkei, Japanese and Latin cuisine, already earning Botica accolades, shooting them to the top of several best of lists. Check out this outrageous sushi sampler with eel and sweet citrus ponsu rolled up in rice, topped with heavenly hamachi and wasabi microgreens, a meal all by itself with tasty sides of tamago, red snapper, and escolar. Plus, a trio of tuna, salmon, and hamachi sushi all on board. Indulge in Peruvian pleasures like this colorful ceviche with tender red beets and succulent scallops with a swath of savory sweet potato puree on the side. And the finale to this feast? Cheesecake wrapped in fried wontons on a bed of lemon curd, garnished with fresh blueberries. Yeah, you'll smile all right. As you see people coming in, do it. Executive chef Geronimo Lopez grew up in Venezuela, trained in France, then was hired by a large luxury resort. Geronimo has cooked in eight countries on three continents. If someone asks you what kind of food do you serve at Botica, how would you describe it? It's, uh, I, I like to describe it as the crossroads between Asia and Latin America. I be, I'm a firm believer in the melting pot and, the, and what comes out of it. This cuisine derived from the Asian migration that we had in South America, mostly to Peru and Brazil, but also to Venezuela, Colombia, Argentina. A teaching position at the well-respected CIA lured Geronimo to San Antonio and Pearl. I've been trying to put forward Latin American ingredients uh, and trying to put forward the chiles yeah. from Mexico, trying to put forward anything that comes out of the Amazon. So every, every twist, every flavor that we try to do, uh, it has a sense and it has a purpose. The name Botica is derived from the local bodegas or corner stores you find in Venezuela. The idea was to create this place that people will come to whenever they need something, you know, and, and to have a little bit of everything for them. And Botica delivers with dishes Geronimo hopes you'll share family style from the marvelous menu created by this marathon running family man. Do you jog to work? Uh, yeah, exactly. I run. Down Do you really? Street. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a devoted dad with two young daughters, his oldest already a natural in the kitchen. She always wants to participate in uh, 
breakfast especially, which is our, our time of the day. Speaking of breakfast, this delicious South American chupe, a hearty corn chowder with chunks of chicken and shrimp, is a breakfast food in the Andes. Here, you can get it any time, along with their best seller, the sweet and spicy short rib noodles. We're gonna start by sauteing our onions, like you will do in a regular dish, right? We have a little mix that we always use of garlic and ginger. So you're gonna control, then you add your carrots, and probably you wanna add some of these sprouts yourself. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Go for it, and then stir right. it up a little bit. And I like to do some edamame here. Oh, I love edamame. When you're getting to the point that your vegetables are almost there, you're gonna drop a little bit of water. Oh, how cool is that? Right. Time to add the tangy shredded short ribs, the sauce, and the noodles. Okay, there's fork. something wrong with this picture. I've got these and you've got the, the gringo <laughs> fork. <laughs> okay. You're gonna get all those flavors, mm. a little bit of umami, so. Mm. Amazing. Botica's creative cocktails, like the sake sangria, lure in the crowds too. They're good. Okay. The enticing eye of the tiger roars with pisco lime and leche de tigre, a concoction of coconut milk, ginger, and turmeric. It's very, very potent, as you can smell. Ooh, whoa. So, you now, if it has turmeric, I guess they may be healthy. Yeah, definitely, right? <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. Just like everything at Botica. Very delicious, a very um, unique taste. Yes, very good. it's very good. I know the flavor is really good. That's how I come back. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Time now for our shareable chef's secrets. Our fun takeaways of tips for you in your kitchen. And welcome to mine. Chef Geronimo Lopez, who you just met at Botica, the wonderful Botica, says he can't live without a high-powered blender. We've had so many chefs tell us about this. He says he loves the consistency it brings to sauces and purees. Also, Geronimo says he has to have a 12-inch knife nearby. He says there's nothing a good chef can't accomplish without a big knife. Chef Ori of Cata Rabata, who's known for his delicate, delectable sushi in Houston, tells us he too can't live without a good knife. His favorite brand is Nanohi. Coming up, a delicious detour for one of Texas' top treats. These are amazing. But next, join us for heavenly home-baked biscuits at this beautiful Houston restaurant. And that's just for starters. We have over 400 labels in terms of wines. Speaking of wine, my wine finds are coming up too. There's a place for you at the table. Come right back. Good things come from Cisco. Welcome back, everyone. We all know Houston is home to hundreds of fabulous restaurants. Looking for a recommendation? How about a fun and elegant dining spot with kicked up comfort classics that feels a lot like home? Take a seat at Wheezy's table and you'll share the table with some loyal fans. Savor some of the Bayou City's most beautiful and beloved comfort food. Oh, I love Wheezy's. Everyone feels welcome here. Even this contemplative canine, affectionately known as Patience. A great listener, yeah. uh, likes rosé. This lovable, lifelike pup is a favorite dinner guest of Wheezy's regulars. He's a frequent guest at the tables, even a buddy at the bar. I've been coming to Wheezy's since the early 1980s and loving it ever since. The menu at this refined remake of a comfy Texas farmhouse has been wowing diners for more than 40 years with its upscale take on scrumptious Southern classics. That sauce, these aromas. The sweet aroma of home-baked biscuits and Wheezy's own muffins greet you at your table. In a warm and elegant dining room, oozing with Southern charm. Fun and innovative owner Eloise Adams-Jones, or Wheezy, wanted her place to feel like home with recipes reflecting fond memories from her grandmother's table. She does great Southern food. It's Southern comfort food, all right, but reimagined Wheezy's way. Like this starter, splendid spuds, baked white potatoes standing proud on the plate with garlic slivers, dill weed, and lemon, dressed with a dollop of sour cream and garnished with brilliant orange beads of caviar and scallions paired with paper-thin slices of salmon. Or Wheezy's famous hand-breaded chicken fried steak, 
voted best in the state a few years back with tender sirloin steak, quick fried golden brown, then doused with a silky shower of black pepper milk gravy. Served with tasty sides, including corn pudding, named for Wheezy's feisty grandmother Lucy. Speaking of Lucy, you'll love Wheezy's version of her grandmother's damn eggplant, named out of frustration over having to make eggplant over and over again. Yep, it's a damn eggplant dinner tonight. The farm fresh roasted eggplant is melded with fresh gulf oysters and jumbo lump crab meat in a pool of Cajun inspired brandy sauce with a splash of Pernod, served with a side of crusty garlic cheese bread for dipping. Or how about this first family favorite enjoyed by regulars, former President George H.W. and Barbara Bush. We love having them in here. The guests love seeing them. This commander in chief worthy mac and cheese is made with rigatoni bathed in bubbling hot heavy cream sauce. Each dish a culinary love letter to Texas tradition and the familiar tastes of home. Just like Wheezy planned it. You walk in and you feel a sense of her spirit here, right? Definitely. There's a lot of pieces that she collected over the years. These ostrich eggs, for instance, they're about 40 years old. Wheezy's reels you in. Each room has its own feel and flavor, like the elegant dining room with hints of New Orleans with its soaring ceiling. Then there's Lucy's porch, a sprawling Southern style veranda. It takes you to uh, almost South Carolina feel. There's the gorgeous garden patio and this hidden gem, an intimate and very well-stocked wine room. We love our wines. We have over 400 labels in terms of wines. Complete with a few family treasures. Eclectic items Wheezy is known for collecting, like a jacket designed by Andy Warhol. In his studio? Yes, definitely. Wheezy retired to the Texas Hill Country a few years back. Now co-owner Wafi Denari is committed to keeping her dream alive. Well, Wheezy still pays you a visit in the kitchen from time to time. She does. She? She'll come in and the corn biscuits are not spicy enough, Wafi. I'm like, all right, we'll get some uh, different jalapenos next time. Wheezy's legacy lives on in every bite, like this Louisiana-inspired red snapper filet with brandied oysters. Customers just love it. It's, it's one of our favorites. Fresh Gulf red snapper is pan-seared in butter. Then Chef Martin prepares a luxurious brandy and vermouth sauce. Just the right amount. Fresh Gulf oysters are cooked until just tender with a generous chunk of butter. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Still craving oysters? How about oysters and a cocktail? An oyster, oyster martini. An oyster martini. Well, you got really me cool. at martini, but now I'm intrigued with the oyster. The oyster part, right? Gin with a kick of horseradish. 32 times. 32 times? That's what a friend of How mine many said. did I do? <laughs> you didn't do 32. We're at 29. <laughs> 30, 30, 32. Mmm. It flavors the oyster. You'll love all the flavors at Wheezy's. We just keep coming back. Then it tastes really good. Here's to Wheezy. Cheers to Wheezy. Nice job. Stick around. The best wine finds at the best price. My faves coming up. But first, drop in for dessert at one of Texas' most popular pit stops. We have people coming in order dozens upon dozens all the time. See why fans from all over the world pop into this popular little bakery. Stay hungry. Good Taste will be right back. Good Taste with Tangi is brought to you in part by HEB. Next time you're cruising I-35, take a delicious detour in the tiny town of West Texas. But get ready, there's nothing tiny about the tastes headed your way. Open wide and bite into some of the best kolaches you'll ever taste at the Little Check Bakery and Check Stop convenience store. These golden brown puppy pillows are packed with sensational savories like sausage and jalapenos or loaded with sweetness from juicy berries to decadent cream cheese. Hungry yet? These are delicious, delicious. All made from a decades-old Czechoslovakian family recipe. These are amazing. And we're not the only ones who think so. We stop by every time we drive by on a road trip to Dallas. And make sure you get the jalapeno cheese, summer sausage, come on. I didn't get fat on accident, ma'am. 
Lines all the way out the door aren't uncommon here, especially on the weekends. What's it like when this place is rocking on the weekend? It's really just, you know, quick action. So we have 60 or 50 people in here, and we'll get them all out in like 15 minutes. I'm gonna try two or three different things. What's the most you've ever sold to one person? We have people come in and order dozens upon dozens all the time. Kalachi connoisseurs come here from all over the world, as far away as Europe and Australia, to partake in these popular pastries. We're from the Guadalajara, Mexico. A few famous folks have stopped in too, like actor Bill Murray, who was obviously impressed. I recommended him a jalapeno sausage and cheese and a lemon cream cheese, and he got both of those. He really liked the jalapeno, came back, got more. You'll come back for more too, once you sink your teeth into these golden gems of goodness. For starters, how about these bronze beauties, stuffed with thin slices of ham and dripping with melted cheddar cheese. Ooh, it's still warm. Or this top seller, technically a klobosniki, an old world pig in a blanket with savory link sausage and melted cheese, all wrapped in a yummy yeasty roll. These are hearty. If your sweet tooth needs attention, dive into dollops of fresh fruit filling. Cherry, raspberry, blueberry, just to name a few. Oh, you gotta get the blueberry cream. Come on. We started out with six basic fruit flavors, and over the years, we added the cream cheese, which is very popular. More than 40 different kolaches come out of this kitchen every week. We also have the poppy seed, which is traditional. Mm -hmm. Now we have a Nutella. Along with all kinds of freshly made grab-and-go goodies, like cakes, cookies, candies, and mammoth homemade cinnamon rolls. Evelyn Seppak started this kolache kitchen at Check Stop more than 30 years ago. It's never stopped growing. So on a, any given weekend, how many kolaches would you guess oh, go out that Oh, wow. Door? It is into the thousands of dozens. Creating all those colossal kolaches starts with a few simple ingredients. Wow. <laughs> Great. That's a hundred pounds of dough. The secret to a good kolache is the fact that it gets to rise several times. That's what makes it so light and airy, right? And you develop the flavor also. It's a living thing. Absolutely. That's what makes dough so fun, I think. Right. Now for the fun part. Now that might be a, just a tad too much, too much <laughs> but it'll work. It's that human touch that makes all the difference and keeps kolache lovers coming back. We're trying to, to give a fresh product, a very delicious product. Delicious is our business. I love them. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get another. Time for my wine finds, and if you love a good wine bargain, then set your sights on Spain. Spain makes some luscious wines, reds and whites, that don't cost an arm and a leg. All of these here today are less than $15 a bottle, way less. A good example, this one right here, Miel Centofimia. This is a luscious blend of a Grenache and Merlot. Think big, bold flavors of plums and blueberries with vanilla and a hint of chocolate on the finish. One sip really leaves you wanting another. This wine will pair beautifully with meaty choices like steak or brisket, but because of its soft tannins, I'd also pair this wine with chicken or pork. It's a heck of a deal at $11 a bottle. Up next, a Tempranillo. I love Tempranillos. This wine is lighter in style. It's called the Anciano Tempranillo. You'll taste lively flavors of cherries and plums and finish with notes of vanilla. This wine is aged for three years. That's unheard of for a wine that costs less than $10 a bottle. Pair it with grilled meats, tapas, tacos, so good. Okay, white wine fans, Spain has you covered with this Verdejo. It's by Pata Negra. This is a bright, crisp wine that just screams green apples and tropical fruit. It also has hints of herbs and honey. Pair it up with grilled fish or shrimp. Very easy drinking wine for less than $10 a bottle. As always, I found all my wines at HEB. Want to win a relaxing weekend at the beautiful Houstonian Hotel and Spa? We'll tell you how you can enter right after the break. 
Want to win a weekend away? Here's how. Sign up right now at goodtaste.tv for a chance to win a luxurious weekend at the Houstonian Hotel. This getaway includes relaxing spa treatments at the award-winning Trellis Spa, along with breakfast from the Houstonian's signature restaurant, Olivet. Don't forget to set your DVRs right now for next week's show. And please say hello on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you missed any of today's show, you can always check it out on goodtaste.tv. That's where we put our awesome recipes, too. That's all our time for this week. Till next time, cheers to good taste. Wow, <laughs> that's great. Butter, butter. <laughs> it's a little harder than it looks. There's a lot of dough in there. You have a kitty park, I'll be there. A kitty park? <laughs> yeah, because, you know, having two daughters. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and uh, if they sell beer and they have a kitty park, I'll, I'm going to be there. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, that might be just a tad too much. Too much, <laughs> but it'll work. Okay. Yeah, so it, let's just see, it's salty, but it's sweet, and it's a little bit spicy. It's gonna I have need a, a bowl. I need a, I need a bib is what I need. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember your skills from the no. college? You told me a bartender before. I, well, I worked.